The film I'm reviewing is a documentary titled The Parking Lot Movie. It's directed and written by Megan Ekman, who, to put it briefly, focused on a single piece of pavement for an entire 84 minutes. The documentary analyzed the ins and outs of how the corner parking lot in Charlottesville, Virginia functions. The main characters in the film were the vast cast of parking lot attendants who came from various backgrounds, but they all seemed to be either a graduate student, an artistic and musical personality, or some sort of wannabe transcendentalist type. Focused on not only the fanatical love the attendants had for their unique job, but also the intellectual side of why they worked and enjoyed sitting in a cardboard hut for hours a day. Ekman took what had the potential to be a boring documentary subject and turned it into an intriguing storyline which seemed to display a lot of action, but in reality, the most outrageous scene in the whole film consisted of a parking attendant angrily chasing and kicking the car of a customer unwilling to pay the $2 parking fee. This scene not only demonstrates their short temper, but it also shows how much the employees care for their job. A typical minimum wage worker would never chase down and beat up a car for a $2 fee, but this group of guys proved that they do not fall into that category. But there were some questionable setups when regarding the actual separate interviews of each parking attendant. For example, one was sitting in what looked like a living room of a house and another was stationed in a kitchen. I could see that she was trying to distinguish each employee from the other, since there were a lot of them. And in regards to that topic, I don't think it was necessary to have that many parking attendants interviewed, because half of them arguably had the same personality. <laughs> I didn't have to hear six different guys complain about the exponential increase of vehicle size over the time they worked there. It was just unnecessary. Monster of a car. Oh, and then on top of it, the Hummer started to appear. Ekman did use different models, such as cutout pictures and newspaper clippings, that the employees jokingly hung inside the booth. But in my opinion, they were presented as a scattered mess. The newspaper clippings were displayed on a black background, and their short duration of screen time didn't allow me to fully read and absorb the humorous qualities that Ekman attempted to portray with them. And there were some points where the frame looked like a high schooler's PowerPoint that they threw together overnight. For example, the eight minute long credits at the end of the film, seen here, consisted of more white text on a black background. Even though it was low budget, for a movie released in 2010, I would expect more effort to be put into the visual appeal. While the physical aspect wasn't so great, Ekman won me over with the content in the film. I really enjoyed the real life feel to it. There were no scenes that seemed staged, as all the footage came from live encounters within the parking lot. You know, if you, you can drive away, but I'm going to write your license plate number down and then call the police. I don't care, it doesn't bother me. And there were other thought processes that were hilarious to me. For example, when one said that the rule of the customer is always right and that if a customer has money, they have the right to get whatever they want, doesn't apply to the corner parking lot. Look at this sign. Why did you park here if you, if you can't give me the money that you owe me? This is my job. I hate everybody that parks there equally. I think everybody is a dick. It may be because I've been working for four years dealing with customers but the way the corner parking lot employees treat their customers is very satisfying. It's every employee's dream to have the ability to talk back to their customers. And their arrogance and attitudes are fully on display throughout the entire film, and it's one of the main reasons I enjoyed it. I think that people that park crooked fucking suck. <laughs> the downtime or self-reflection aspect of the job was also very interesting to hear about. That void, it is, it's there to welcome you with open arms into it. Um, it can be a real, a real, a really existential job in that way. Overall, <laughs> the film reminded me of The Office with a focus on identity and self-worth with a mix of amusing scenes. While there were many technical aspects that the production team could have improved, the content offered a great portrayal of life working in the parking lot.